Do you know what happens in a cesarean section? It is abdominal surgery to deliver your baby, so it's also called a cesarean delivery or C-section. A C-section is necessary when a vaginal delivery poses too much risk to mom and to baby. It can be planned or done on an unplanned or emergent basis. In a C-section, we make an incision about two centimeters above the pubic bone and then deliver the baby through an incision on the uterus. We then close all the skin layers with dissolvable sutures to leave you as pretty as we found you. Some women know they will need a C-section during their pregnancy. We do these typically around 39 weeks, but sometimes earlier if you have a medical or pregnancy-related indication. When planning for a C-section, you may have a morning or an afternoon delivery. Regarding eating and drinking, your OB provider will create a plan for you ahead of time. The rest of the planning involves decreasing the normal risks associated with surgery, one of which is infection. We ask that you don't perform any hair removal, such as waxing or shaving, as those things can actually increase your risk of infection at the incision site. You will show up two hours before your surgery so you can be admitted and meet the team that will be delivering your baby. Your nurse will monitor your baby's heart rate and assess your vital signs. You'll have blood drawn and an IV placed. Next, you'll be positioned comfortably on the bed and a catheter will be placed in your bladder. And you'll be covered in warm blankets with your belly exposed, which will then be cleansed with a special soap designed to prevent infections after your surgery. You'll be covered with drapes, so you will be able to see the delivery of the baby. The pediatric team will come to the room just in case your baby needs assistance to breathe. As soon as your baby is stable, we'll place it on your chest for the critical initial skin-to-skin -skin bonding time. You will be cleansed and transferred to the recovery room, and you can expect that recovery period to last about two hours. After that point, you'll be transferred to your private postpartum room as soon as that is ready. Unplanned cesarean sections occur in much the same way, but everything happens more quickly with potentially more doctors and nurses assisting. Occasionally in urgent situations, patients will need to have general anesthesia. In this case, your support person won't be able to accompany you to the OR, but they'll be able to meet you in the recovery room. The average length of stay after cesarean section is two to four days. You will need pain medications afterwards. Generally, we start with Tylenol and ibuprofen, but some women do require narcotics. This is a big surgery, so we do encourage you to take care of yourself afterwards. We recommend no heavy lifting for up to six weeks postpartum. You will have small little band-aids across your incisions, which will stay on for seven to 10 days. Some bleeding is normal, but if you have any significant bleeding, redness or drainage, or any other concerning symptoms, please contact your UC Health OB provider right away. Don't do too much too quickly. You should be able to go walking within days of your surgery, and by four to six weeks, you should be able to do some light exercises. We recommend waiting until six weeks postpartum before starting abdominal exercises. Your vaginal bleeding may persist for up to six weeks afterwards, but after the first two weeks, the bleeding should be minimal. Your UC Health OB team will work with you on a recovery plan so that you and your baby can stay healthy and happy.